Hey guys, what is up? Rift here. Today I want to show you how this and this are the same. I've been playing games for 20 years now, so I know my games. And what makes a good game great? It's like building the best ice cream sundae you can think of. And what do you need? Three things. The best bowl, the best ice cream, and the best toppings. What does that mean for gaming? Three words. First word is foundation. Imagine building the best ice cream sundae you can think of with all of your favorite flavors, toppings, and everything. Aside from the ice cream and the toppings, you'll need something to put your ice cream on. Are you gonna build the best ice cream sundae on the palm of your hand? That's gross. Who would do that? You can't build the best ice cream in the palm of your hands or in a small teeny tiny bowl. If we're talking about the best ice cream sundae, you'll need the best ice cream to carry and build your your sundae on. That's the foundation, the ice cream bowl that'll hold your glorious ice cream sundae. This is the same in gaming. Perfect example will be our favorite bald guy. Not that bald guy, not that one either, but this guy, Kratos, from this to this and now this. Get in the boat, boy. 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 Boy, I told you boy. Boy, boy, no place for a boy. But for real, in God of War 2018, what do you think is the ice cream bowl? The story, the world, the gameplay? In God of War 2018, the foundation is Kratos and him transforming from a raged induced killing machine fueled with hatred to a father struggling to protect his son Atreus from himself and Kratos' past and also his struggles to be a good father as well as grieving for his wife and fulfilling his wife's last wishes. Do I think this game would hit the same if Kratos was any other character? Nope, that game might be good, but a great game? I don't think so. Next is structure, the ice cream itself. How can you build the best ice cream sundae? You use the best flavors, of course. Mm. Imagine a character like Sonic, a foundation, a franchise. Yeah, even an iconic character will fall as a foundation if the structure is trash. Imagine eating on the most expensive ice cream bowl and eating garlic flavored ice cream. Yeah, look it up, it's real. Will the bowl make the ice cream taste better? Nope, unless you're an alien and you're into that. Sure, but we're not talking about aliens today. We're talking about us, the human race. You can have the best character, the most iconic gaming character, and still fall flat on your face if the game structure is flat. So what is structure in games? It's how the game tells you its story in story-driven games. I'll talk about another example later on, but games like Red Dead Redemption 2, this game made me cry for two reasons. One, killing the horse that I used from the start to the end, that actually broke my heart. And two, because of the story. The story is what makes the structure of this game so strong. From Arthur Morgan's own personal struggles to his gang of outlaws struggling to keep their way of life in an ever-changing society. Rockstar to me is one of the best storytellers in gaming. The way they portray Arthur Morgan's struggles as the right hand man of Dutch who is so loyal to a point where he follows Dutch's every word, but at the same time, Arthur will talk behind Dutch's back questioning his decisions. Arthur Morgan fights to keep his gang of outlaws together, but as his health deteriorates, his family around him start falling apart. As I said, this game made me very emotional. One reason is because they killed my horse. The other is seeing Arthur struggle to keep his family together, and him having to sacrifice his own life for John Marston, because at the core of everyone in the gang of outlaws, they all want what John had a family, and a future. The other example of great structure is with fighting games. To me, the foundation of a great fighting game is the challenge and mechanics. The fluid motions, the clean combos, and pushing your chosen character and yourself to the limits of the game and its challenges. Games like Street Fighter, Smash Bros, Mortal Kombat, all of these games have great clean mechanics. But the structure of these games lies with its characters, its setting, pulling off that combo you practice for hours, and the satisfying victories you achieve while playing fighting games. So just a quick reminder, if you're entertained and like the video, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe. 
I'm trying to evolve my content and make them more entertaining. So a like and subscription would really help me a lot. Thank you. And also help me reach 20 subs. That'd be really cool. The last word is content. The sprinkles, the cherry on top, that caramel syrup and whipped cream. You can't have an ice cream sundae without toppings. The foundation of Doom Eternal is the fast paced high octane gameplay with satisfying gun mechanics. The structure is the world and story of our silent protagonist Doom Guy. And the content? Well, let me just show you. So I recently played Doom Eternal and had an absolute blast playing it. Doom Eternal took me around 24 hours to finish in ultra violent mode and this was my first playthrough. The relatively short gameplay content left me satisfied that every moment I had playing the game was plain and simple fun. From its awesome soundtracks to learning how to tackle each encounter throughout the level and slowly seeing that you're getting better and better with every encounter and every level. The guns, the music, the atmosphere, the sound effects. Every inch of Doom Eternal had great content that kept you playing. I would always find myself saying one more level, just one more secret encounter, just one more try. It was awesome. If you haven't played Doom Eternal, you'd think it's just another FPS, but it's not. In Doom Eternal, you had to methodically think about your strategies and plan every encounter accordingly, especially in harder difficulties. Every single second I was playing Doom Eternal was fun, and it was fun because of the content it provided. There are a lot of great games to play, and a lot more reasons why there are great games, but I don't want this video to be too long. If you want to see some more reasons on what makes a game great, comment down below. Below. Don't forget to drop a like to support the channel and subscribe. Gaming is something that I truly am passionate about. Gaming has given me some of the most memorable experiences I've ever had and some of the most fun things I've ever done was in gaming. Some of the games I mentioned are the greatest games that I have ever played. I just wish we could start getting these great games again as the games we are getting now are very underwhelming. So there you go guys. I gotta go and make an ice cream sundae. Peace out. Talk to you soon. Much love and stay safe out there.